Hi everyone, Anjata this side. Welcome to the day two of our QA bootcamp. Today we'll be learning about the requirement phase, which is basically the foundation of any SDLC project. In today's session, we will learn how the requirements are prepared for the development. We need to understand what is a requirement. So requirement phase is where we define what needs to be built. So this is very important. Now let's understand how the requirements are brought to the team. So the requirements are brought in the form of user story. Okay, so let me also write over here. So now what is user story? The user story is basically a simple description of a feature which is written in a way that is easy for everyone in the team to understand. Where do we write this user story? They are created in Jira. So Jira is a project management tool which is used to track your work and manage your projects. So in this, all your user stories, all bugs, or tasks are documented so you can track them easily. So now you have got basic understanding about these terms, user story and Jira. Like I mentioned in the last video, it will be real-time example we will learn. So to understand and to explain you better, what we will do, I have created a story in Jira already. So let me open that. So this is how Jira looks like. And this is our user story. So the user story will be created by either PM, BA or your architect. So whoever is responsible for creating this one, they create the user story and this user story should have well-defined and readable acceptance criteria. For the demo purpose, I have created this for the registration flow. So this is our registration flow page. So this is something which we want to develop. So for this one, your PM will present you with the story. In the story, you can see all the description. The form should include the below fields. So whatever fields we are expecting and based on this, you have to develop the page. So everything is mentioned over here, like the form fields, what is the checkbox, what is the button functionality and edit message. And also there will be a design attached. So this is also called as definition of ready, which means the user story should have a detailed acceptance criteria. So user story should have the designs attached and the dependencies should be already defined. Over here, I have a tag screenshot, but in some organizations, they use different tools for the designing. For example, there are tools like Figma, where you can add all the designs and then you can add, attach the link of design to the story. Fine. It again depends on organization to organization, but the idea is the designs should be attached before the developer starts working on it. So now this story will be groomed among the team members. So who will be attending this meeting. It will be the designers, the developers, QAs, PM, BO. So once the story is groomed among your team members, it is then moved to the planning stage, which is done in a ceremony called sprint planning. So this is also one of the interview questions. What are the different sprint ceremonies or agile ceremonies you follow in your team? So the first one is the sprint planning. So what happens in this? In this, you groom the ticket and then you plan it. So plan by plan, what we mean? Plan means how long your story is going to take to deliver. And there are a few strategies for the estimation. Like you can go for planning poker, you can go for t-shirt size, or you can just directly mention over here the story points. So this is generally Fibonacci series, which is 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, like that. Okay. So you estimate your points and you add over here. For example, for the story, let's add 8 over here. So this different strategies... At least you should be aware about the names like planning poker, t-shirt size. In planning poker, what happens? Everyone is given cards and based on that, the points are finalized. And in the t-shirt sizing, we measure in terms of, let's say, it is small, it is medium, it is large, it is, it is an extra large. So like that, we estimate. These are the different estimate techniques. So let's update over here also. Print planning and then the estimation techniques. So what are the different techniques? Like planning poker t-shirt sizing or directly you can pass the story point. So this is how the first phase starts for any project. So after this phase, developer will start writing the code and QA will begin preparing the test strategy. And in this phase, all the questions are properly asked. For example, for this story, let's say story is presented to the team. Now you need to ask as many questions as you want for the delivery of this feature. For example, over here it is not mentioned which devices. You can ask them if it needs to be tested in mobile browser also or it should be responsive or not. So this is the platform where you ask questions, where you clear your doubts so that you have a proper understanding of the feature, what we are going to deliver and develop. So this is how your phase one, which is a requirement phase, works for any project. Fine. 
keep in mind that this approach can be adjusted according to the organization but overall process remains same in some of the organization sprint grooming and sprint planning are separate meetings first of all the story is groomed with the team then the team takes some time maybe a day or two then they estimate and then they have one more meeting which is sprint planning where they estimate about it okay and in some of the organization it is just single meeting in which they discuss and then they estimate then and there but like i mentioned it varies from organization to organization but the main idea is you groom it you estimate it and then you start working on it so to wrap up we have covered key aspects of the requirement phase including how to use tool like jira the importance of what is user story what is grooming what is sprint planning and what are the different estimation technique so i hope you find this content valuable please like share and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any further update